Hi, John here. Um, today it's Monday, the 9th of October 2017. Yeah, I'm just going to ring Monday. My voice is not that fresh at the moment. Um, okay, here we go. Yeah, money. I'm just uh, making an article for you uh, to connect to the um, manager title. I'm writing to the um, private investigator and putting um, you up there uh, and me in the commercial contract. Uh, we're the only ones that have got a commercial contract uh, with the um, um, Mori Ori, Te Rau Waikato Whare Here Here at 1820. So I'll just <coughs> <coughs> um, fashion Bundy around that with his 13 chiefs who um, are inside the Okiato Native Magistrate Court <coughs> in Kororareka, um, Russell. That got blown up out of existence, and so there was no more with that. Uh, there was no commercial <coughs> contract from that point on in Russell. It shifted to Awaroa Native Magistrate Court under the Manukau title, Moriori title. So what I'm doing here is because Bundy is concerned with the Whakamininga as being a spiritual upper house, then that part of it I'll explain how it's going to fit into the commercial world because I told him that the Whakamininga has no commercial contracts at all in its chieftainship from Okiara. Um, that came from Te Rawaikato in 1820, the title transferred as the head lease of a uh, land, commercial landowner from Te Rawaikato Wharehere de Manukau in Edinburgh Magistrate Court into Westminster Magistrate Court into Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in Helensville. That's when the Manukau title transferred uh, in before 1838. It transferred into that Awaroa Magistrate Court and that's uh, under Refa Refa Manukau, Paramount Chief. Uh, Te Rewaikato came from um, Maungatauteri Mountain, that was his bar, and his lands all around Waikato. There was no Tainui around then. So that's out. The other was out. And so um, this we're, we're only talking about British titles because those other tribes never come into it with the British title. That's why all the other titles, the Arawa, Ngāpui and, and uh, so forth, came under the New South Wales um, Crown Government through Queen Victoria. But the land was already sold by Te Rewaikato himself. And um, at that time, 1820, uh, Hongi Hika went to England and uh, looked after the, or learnt the British armament as uh, a military force, not a contract force. And so he took up the arms, the muskets, and that's all he wanted. He didn't want anything to do with um, conveyancing, banking, or anything that looked strange to him. Although he went there to learn English, he was more concerned with conquering the lands uh, with the British and him as the chief of all the natives in New Zealand. And um, so that was his role. Whereas Te Rawakato Whare Here, the Manukau Paramount Chief, was commercial. 
he went commercial as a landowner in commerce when he signed the documents over with King George IV. Uh, now I want to make this clear, uh, money. When I come up to um, Waitaha uh, for the hui on the 25th, I'll be going, Ma Morris is going to pick me up at Kawakawa. I'm going up on the mana bus and um, he'll drop me back uh, to catch the bus again coming back to Auckland on the 29th. So I'll be up there Your from... Your equipment just reached our maximum length. You can hang up now. Or for more options, press 1. Oh, sorry. That's... Oh, well. In the call. So, sorry. Um, I'm not supposed to, I didn't think I was making a call that long. So it's run out. Um, money. Anyway, I'll carry on on this video. I didn't realize the phone was gone. Um, but now I'm on the video. Um, I've got it on the phone as well. Um, so um, I'm just saying we are, I'm, I'm splitting this into three ways. 1820, Tira Waikato Whanehere in Manukau, Paramount Chief, that's you, in the native courts here. Native Magistrate Court in Auckland, Te Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court. That's you and Te at 1820. Then Bundy comes along with the flag at 1834. And that's the um, um, private contract uh, on the 20th of March 1834 in Okiato. Now that's the part that he's got the flag side of the Whakamenia, the 13 chiefs and that Okiara Magistrate Court. So Bundy is in charge of the land. As far as I'm concerned, he's the land commissioner behind me as the land commissioner in deputy because I've got all the titles and I know everything about all the land titles and everything that goes with it for over 20 years and who's on it and who's where or whose title or British or Australian titles or anybody's titles I've got them all. So that's Bundy in the middle with the Cook Island, uh, Cook Island, um, um, Tahitian, Hongiga, that's the Ngāpui, Hongiga, right that's his side of the Three way. Okay, so that's Bundy at 1834. 1834, Manahi, 1820 to 1834, and everything between. I'll do this first and then I'll come back to Manahi in between there and 1834. So Bundy is a deputy land commissioner because he's got to pick up a lot from me. Everybody's got to learn from what I, I know and Give it to them in a set stage of time. But Bundy, you, you, I've got to take this book because you can start using these acts, but I'll have to guide you through them. I will put something together and make this book work. This is a magistrate court, portable. It can finish a court case anywhere in the world in less than an hour. This can wrap it up in less than two hours. A court case is two hours minimum in Britain, in the High Court of Advocacy in Britain. We're going to do it ourselves here, and we've got the option of going to Britain if they play out. I mean, the criminals here, John Key and all the rest of them, Bill English, the lot, every one of them. Uh, police, courts, the lot. We're, we're taking them all on with this magistrate court book. So, Bundy, I will fashion the um, um, framing the laws. This framing the laws under this does not mix with the Maori government, which is your third peer, pillar here. Okay, the Maori government cannot touch this, Bundy, because this is British. The Maori government is not British. This is a private contract with the British government between 1820 and 1834, cut off. No further forward. Although we've got 1830 to 1837 laws 
an X here in these X of Westminster Parliament that we are allowed to use. Nobody can say we can't because we've still got this flag as a contract. The government took, got rid of the New South Wales part of this flag, but not the British side of the flag. You see what I mean? You can't touch this flag under the British because it's a British flag. It's not a New South Wales flag. It's a British flag. The King gave it, not somebody else, not the Queen Victoria, not anybody else, not a Mary, not, not anybody else. The King William IV gave it, and it's tied to King William III, both Dutchmen, German Dutchmen. <coughs> this side is under the German <coughs> Spaniard. <coughs> it's gone down the Spanish line. And that's different to this. <coughs> the king's wealth is under this. The Spanish has borrowed the sovereignty and the admiralty from this king. They did. They haven't got their own. So I'm afraid to say that the Maori government is here. It borrowed its stuff from this side, this British side, through Australia, through the Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. When King William IV died, Queen Victoria took over, but he left the contract with us, not this lot. He left the King's contract and this flag with us. This side borrowed the flag to make their 1840 treaty. They've corrupted this side. So now, Bundy, you got that? I'm going to have you through this lot. You and Hedewini. Hedewini is Selwyn Clark in this book as British, that's his surname, in British, <coughs> and his name is on the record, right through from here back to where his ancestors came from in Britain. He's our partner, these two partners. He's the partner to the Cook Island, Tahitian, and the Moriori on this side. I'm a Maui in the middle. Okay. I'm the Moai Tahitian royal family in the middle of Bundy and Manahi. I'll, I'll explain that after. <coughs> now we have the Maori government, the third pillar on this side. Oh, we'll put them on this side. We'll put, <coughs> put it in the right place. <coughs> Moriori this side, King <coughs> Paramount Chiefs, Queen on this side. Okay? Okay. <coughs> Manahi, Bandi, Georgie Job, and me in the middle, the Maui crown, Tahitian, royal family, monarch. Okay, now you got one, two, three, four. Oh, four, four of us. One, Moriori, two, Cook Island, Tahitian, three. Maui, Tahitian, four, Maori government, New South Wales, Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria. Right, now, Moriori, 1820 to 1834, Bundy, 1834 to 1837, right, 1834 to 1837, Maori government, 1840. That's when all the trouble started and flogged the Moriori's title and screwed it around in the New Zealand Company, New South Wales, into their New Zealand Company from the Manukau Company. The Manukau Company was formed in Britain and this lot stole this lot and changed it from the Manukau Company into the New Zealand Company and that's where all the trouble is. So Georgie Job and Sunakura has to fix up their side and don't touch this flag on this side. You'll have to go and battle the government in Wellington to get it back off them. Your, your, your side of this flag that you borrowed from this side, you've only borrowed it, it's not your flag. You borrowed it. The Maori government borrowed their flag. It doesn't belong to them. It belongs to these paramount chiefs. Right? Get that. Get, make sure you get it. Don't get it wrong because you can get a pound note on your head from this side. 
I'm telling you, I know everything. Maui sees everything, and Maui doesn't let anybody get away with it. That's why we've got a private investigator, ex-British detective from Scotland Yard, going to fix this lot up against that side. Creditor, get up. Okay? So, Georgie, although you've got a married government, <coughs> you've got a long way to go. Because unless you can seize the government in Wellington before we do, we're going to wipe them out eventually with this flag, the live flag on this side and the dead flag on this side. So you've got a dead flag to worry about. You've got a whole bunch of Maoris you've got to look for. You've got to get 75% of your Maoris, if you can find them to back you before you can even use Te Ture Whenua Act. All your acts are New South Wales government and you've got to use those to get out of it. You can't touch these acts. You can't mix the King's jurisdiction with the Queen's jurisdiction because this is Admiralty, this is Vice Admiral. The Queen is in Vice Admiral. Don't mix it up because you'll get in trouble with me and these chiefs. The Chiefs are learning fast, but I think uh, Manahi's got, got the idea because he works in courts directly as a JP, Justice of the Peace, and he's there in place of the judge, then the corrupted judge. He takes precedent in the courts with the Moriori title over the whole Pacific Islands. That title was sold by Te Waikato in Britain. For the whole Pacific Islands, because they, the British used Riku Island or Riku Country, Chatham Islands, as their stepping stone to get into here, because the Moriori's come from there to here, not from here to there. The Maoris on this side switched everything. They switched the title from here to Chatham Islands and put, went with the Solomons. They are not original surname to that island. Manahi is the ancestor, a descendant of the ancestors to the Waikato Whanahele in Manukau, from there. Okay, the Manukau's, Paraparas, Mohinis, those are all names. They're all names. And if you've got an old name like that and you, you it belongs to you, your male line, that's the only people who can talk. Nobody else. No second hand marries in this side. You're either in one or the other. The marriage names are mixed up. They're being bodied and corrupted to hell by this New South Wales pirates, prison convicts that have come to Wellington. They're still operating in there now. Judith Collins is one and John Key the other. <coughs> Typical pirate. This flag is for pirates. It's going to turn on them very soon because I'm instructing the private investigator with all my documents and he's got heaps of them. He's going to get another truckload just to update from 2013. <coughs> just after 2012, <coughs> I was with Charles Herschel and he's disappeared. He, he won't come anywhere near this. He's, he, he's caught up in it as well. Charles, if you're watching this video, mate, you won't answer my calls. I went to your place to live for a night. You won't even answer. Why don't you answer? You're just like that fellow, Kim.com. Both Germans. What's wrong with you people? Why are you hiding away from me? Why can't you come clean and come out in the open? You sent me off to England and you knew there was going to be a fraud or not. You let me go there and I got caught up in Malaysia. You said to go. And then I lost all my money. Over 20000 I lost because of you. You advised me. I took your word for it. And LinkedIn, the other one, that's corrupted. All the corrupt people is in LinkedIn. I can tell you because it caught me out. Relying on those people in there, the banker, the banker, um, um, and a lawyer, Julian in Falkner, came out of that LinkedIn, and Martin uh, Sekluna, Martin Sekluna, 
came out of Lincoln. And I can see lots of crooks in there, in Lincoln. It's just a scam outfit. And that's what that's why I lost because I relied on them and their profile. Well, Lloyd's Bank and the banker, you've got something coming from me for letting that happen. I'm gonna use this information for you to put a lien on you with a pound note on you. Everything that's been corrupted right in the middle of what I do. So here we go. The Maori government is framing their laws. They've been trying to do that for flipping years. I've got all the stuff here when nobody listened to me. No one listened to me. I've got everything here. I know what to do. But I won't go near the Maori government because it's all corrupted. The whole damn thing. I won't touch it anymore. I've been through it. I've been through it longer than anybody. And I was with Mohi Manukau. He was the president of the Confederation of Chiefs that put all these documents together because he knew what was going on. He just let them go down the path. If they didn't listen, listen to him, he just let them go and run over the hill. And he knew this title sold the land. He was selling the land with his grandfather, John Rogan, in the Kaipras. He was there. The, the Maoris hated him because he was there running around on a nice race car with his grandfather, selling all the land because his ancestor had already sold it. And they were selling land before 1830. Back to, as far as 1820, these lands were being sold under that Moriori title. That's why nobody knows. You're not supposed to know it. I'm not supposed to tell you. So that and nobody would know. Because the Freemasons told him, Moi, you shut his mouth, or you get a silver bullet in his head. <coughs> well, <coughs> now you're going to get a silver bullet in your head. Because <coughs> I told all of you people online <coughs> what this is all about. Anyway. Back to the Maori government. Maori government, you have to, with Sunakura, try and get your part of your flag back, which is not your flag. You borrowed it, so you've got to carry on borrowing it if you can get it back, because it's got no legal in it. This one's got legal in it, under this side with the kings and the paramount chiefs. Okay? This side, it's got nothing in it. When you fly that flag underneath your married government or anything you're doing, it just doesn't go anywhere. You can go to courts and you'll lose. Strap it around your neck, you lose. It's got no legal in it. It was Charles Hirschfeld, the barrister, that told me that. My barrister, I was paying him every week. And I didn't get much out of him. They're all crooks. he got to get the bill too. A trillion pounds on your head, Charles Hirschfeld. I don't care whether you're on our land blocks or not. You just help them to take it away from me. I can't even get on any one of my 25 blocks because of you and your thieving lawyers and the whole system is corrupted to buggery. Well, Georgie, you've got a job to try and get 75% of the population of the Maoris, wherever you can find them, and you've got to try and do it on your own because Sunakura, I gave her money, 5,000 bucks, because she said she was going to get 30 million. I never saw my 5,000 anymore. And then that was a failure because I knew everything Maori touches is foul. Because it's Pākehā. It belongs, that word Maori belongs to the Pākehās, the crooks. Those pirates in Wellington created that word. It's not your word. It's a patent word and the word iwi. Those crooked iwis are going to get a bill. All the whole lot of them, tripping pounds Kid me not. That's the birth certificate. I'm putting a value on a birth certificate to cover all the crooks as being that's what a birth certificate on this side is worth. On this side it's only worth a hundred million. Just a hundred million if you can get any of it back. And the average gold card is only twenty six thousand. That's all they're gonna get. And this thieving lot of pirate bitches gets the rest of a hundred million in their private accounts. That's what's wrong with this Bundy and Money and Hedwini. I know the whole lot, even though I got a cold. Still coughing, but not bad. <coughs> so, Georgie, if you want to marry government, I'll tell you what, good luck to you. Because I can only encourage you to do what 
you really want to do with Sue, you've got to get um, something, you've got to get money from somewhere. And what I'm doing on this, I've been working a long time on this, over 20 years to get this lot going. And I've got a battle, I've got to get my head blown off by this fucking lot, on this side, on your side. The Queen's crown, on this side. They could blow my head off. Well, I'll stand here in defiance to anybody that gets in my road with these chiefs because this is God's law, L-O-R-E, deeds of truth. If you can't tell the truth, you're on this side. The Jesuits are on this side. They don't have truth. They don't believe in truth. They believe in Satan. Right? So you, you're battling with Satan on this side. We haven't got no Satan on this side. It's just straight king's common law people. The common law, people. Unless you got all this lot, I gave you a book, I gave you a book, but you can't use it. You cannot use anything in this book. I gave it to you for reference because it's online. It's, this is all going online. I'm putting it online and no one can touch it because it's got our seals in it. It's got our stamps. I made a stamp for the Paramount Chiefs. That's a commercial trading bank flag stamp of a king. The only king's flag in the world. You see the thief here? John Key's got the eight point star on He has no right to go near this flag. He's going to get hung, right, for treason, for his own elite families, bankers, treasonous bitch. That's what the church says about Trump. Treasonous bitch. And anybody that gets in the right. Um, I'm with a Filipino girl now in, in his country, Philippines. I'm going to have a little bone to pick with him and have, have, have a bit of say on, on this flag and how we're going to get that gold that he can't touch. Because the thieves on this side got their paws on it when it belongs to this side. It belongs to our trust. Right? It belongs to, by default, to the Maui Crown, King William IV Trust. In a sort, flag, trust. King, trust. King William III, King William IV, Dutchman, not Spanish, Dutchman. Okay, now, once again, we got money right over to the right hand side, Moriori, Manukau, Paramount Chief, title. That's a commercial contract, private, nobody's business, in the Edinburgh Magistrate Court wrapped up with the Freemasons. Okay, they've got all the documents, the patents to the top prints, all of them in the will, under this Westminster Magistrate Court. Okay, that's that. Manahi is in charge of the British titles here, with me, the executor of the Manukau Trust. Manukau, Moriori, Tirawakato, Whareherehe, Manukau, Trust. Okay, I've got all trust because that's a contract where he, the seller, to King George IV, the buyer, crown, land patents, Britain, UK. Got that? That's money. And then next to him, I come in. Second, with the Maui crown, Tahitian title, male, one or male. Straight to Tahiti, Rapa Nui, East Island to Mokonui, East Cape, North Island, New Zealand, Ulster, Irish, <coughs> Northern Ireland. Mm, there. <coughs> <coughs> Eight point star. <coughs> St. Patrick is in Belfast, Cosgrove, lawyers, Rogan, judges, Belfast. Coat of arms, that's me. I've got a coat of arms there with my Wānoa Maui Crown Royal Family Tahiti. Okay? That's that title. With me being second to uh, Manahi, Manahi Parapara Mohini. Right? He's, he's a Māori Ori. He actually legally, legitimately owns Rikuhu country or 
Chattavalas. He owns not those people over there. Show me someone with the right name that got there first. They weren't there first. His people were there first. The Malagals and him, Moriori. Okay? You can see he's a black man and his surname never changes. It belongs to the land there and the land here. That's the end of it. Okay? Then I comes along. I'm not, I'm not the second to get here. The Cook Islands here, Bundy, comes next. The, Mori, the, 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 the Maui comes later. But that doesn't make a difference because he's the whole world. Okay? So, 1831. St. Mary's Church, Tiki Tiki. Rahui Marai, Wano Marai. Tiki Tiki. Whakawhitira. Native Magistrate Court, Tiki Tiki, Rotoria, Hiruharama, Mount Hikaragi. That's my title. Okay, that's my marae, my wānoa marae, and the church, St. Mary's Church. Straight to Edinburgh, Holy Grail, St. Mary's Church. Okay, you got that? That's his title. I'm just telling you, that's my title. I might as well tell you. And so that's that one, 1831. Um, 1820, that's money. 1831. Um, St. Mary's and the St. Patrick's, King William III. Title to Ireland and my Holy Grail, coat of arms, Rogan. Cosgrove, coat of arms, right there, in the St. Patrick's eight point star on this flag. That flag belongs to my family in Ireland. Okay? With that eight point star, municipalities, the tax, rent, ground lease, fines, administrative costs of all the councils in the world that are using this. Eight point star, St. Patrick, in America, all comes out of my family. Right here in New Zealand. You got that? That's why I'm standing next to Manahi with that title and the Moai title on top of it, standing in London, standing in Dunedin with the crown on his head, standing in Auckland with his head chopped off by these bastards on this side. Okay? And those bastards on the side, Doug, Mohi Manakaos. Ancestors of One Tree Hill, River River Manukau's ancestors, and put John Campbell there, a white man on this side, under Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. They're going to get the bill for that from their side. We're doing that right now with a British ex-detective, Scotland Yard, private investigator, alien investigations. Okay, now, <coughs> that's me, finished. Now, we get on to Bundy. The Cook Islanders were here after and during the Moriori. You might as well say they go together. We're putting them together because <coughs> the Cook Islanders are the closest here, but the British saw the Chatham Islands and the Moriori's were closer still than the Cook Islanders. That's why they picked them. They used the Cook Islands for Rarotonga and made that a tax haven for the British. You got it? All the tax going from here goes through Rarotonga to the Netherlands. And it gets picked up as a tax write-off in the Cook Islands. They use that for a tax haven and stealing the money out of here, off these Moriotis. But that's Bundy's uh, job to sort that out. Okay, Bundy's in charge of these lands, as far as I'm concerned, physically. He's going to administer the um, bills, the debts that are owed, and give it to me. I'm the bank. Okay, I'm the Moai Piaios Bank in London. Oh, not London, Westminster. I'm, I, I, I'm staying right out of London. I'm going into Paddington in Westminster. City, Westminster, and Westminster Parliament. 
<coughs> where this flag came from. You got it? So now Bundy is in charge of the lands. That's it. He's in charge of the lands. What happened to it? He does investigations with the sheriff. The sheriff's got to be trained, trained properly. That is book. No one can be a sheriff. Not even those married marshals. They, they are Hawaiian ones. You see what's wrong with marriage? They're all fucked up. They're all fucked up. I don't know whether they're mother or father. Or, they're still going through Hawaii, which is still under the British, and, but it's been screwed up by the Americans. The Americans are the queen's lot. This fucking lot here that Georgie's got to sort out. Boy, you can have your job. I don't want it. And I don't think I should need to fund that lot because you'll have to find your way. I found my own, own way. I found my own way. I, I haven't got any money yet, but I'm getting there. I'm going to get paid for what I've been been doing all these 20 years. I've only seen people come on, on the scene. I've seen everybody. I know who's there. I know who's been all, all through this, all the way through. Most of them have just come on board from out of around. They've been to Hui's, but they haven't been this deep. They haven't been this deep. You need a lot of information to be this far ahead. You can't just jump on this. You'll get in trouble if you do something wrong. And I made these two stamps, this this one here and the Mo Moai one, because the British recognise them. The British recognise them, not these Maoris. <coughs> they might now, but a bit too late for that. You have to go back to 1820 and start from there. So where were you in 1820? That's what, that's what I say to all you people. Where were you in 1820? Where was your ancestors in 1820? What were they doing? What were they doing? There. Okay, they were scrambling around on this country trying to find a place to stay without permission. That's what. And they killed off all the Moriolis. All money he got. Killed them all off. He's a humble man. He doesn't go around blasting his head off at everybody. That's why I admire the man. He's a church man. Rapana. Uh, I'm a St. Mary's Church and a St. Patrick's Church, but I, haven't got, I don't go to church. I've got my I just go straight up. I, I've got no middlemen. I don't trust them in the churches. I don't trust them one bit because they're led off the path with this bloody lot. The, the Pope and all these pedophiles. They're lunatics running the governments. Anyway, um, before this video runs out, uh, once again, <coughs> 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 I'm just sending stuff to my uh, my um, private investigator, Graham Miller, and just updating him on what's just happened now that I've got the chiefs behind me. I've got more people behind me around the world now watching what's going on here, and even in Britain. They know the answer lies in this flag here. And this government here has been usurping and making money for themselves. They can see that with Judith Collins. Stealing those logs, those curry logs, they don't belong to you, Judith Collins, they belong to the natives. They belong to the natives here. You thief, you're a fucking thief. That's why I can, I can say that on this video. Because you're just white face mongrels. You're only out for yourself and your private interests. Threat to this country. John Key's the biggest threat to this country. Allowed you fellas to get away with things. You're not getting away with it anymore because these paramount chiefs have had enough of you, had a gut for you, you need the rope around your necks. I can say that because it says that in the book. It says it in the act, I can pull an act out, it says that. Right? I can go through here and find, find an act that can hang you bastards. And that's what Bundy's looking at. He's looking at this, he's going to pull these out, he's, he's going to pull them out and stick one around your neck. Make you pay first, then hang you. That's no, no more of you, 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 you thugs. You thugs have got away with it this long. How many years? 183 years. This is 183 years to 1834, this flag. And back to 1820. 209 years. That's, that's how long you fellas have been screwing around with this land. Okay? That's long, you bloody white people. I say that. I say that on Facebook. You bloody white people. A crooked in the head. Boom, boom. That's why you go insane. And they made you fellas. Um, loony places like Kingsley, 
uh, for you mad people when you lose. You're going to all land up, I'll have to go and build King Sheet mental home for you fellas again when you lose. Alright? I'll look for this dumb thing for you fellas and your, your execution act, smuggling act. There's you, 1834. Right on this flag, 1834. Smuggling act. You lot of smugglers. I can say that about you. You lot of smugglers. Um, I'll find a good one. I'll find a good one. I'll get one. I'll get one yet. <coughs> Execution of Criminals, Chester Act, 1835. C1. There. I'll put that on you. Execution. You're a criminal. If you're a criminal and you're found, found guilty in this book, you can get executed with a shotgun. Poof! In your head. With this execution of criminals, Chester Act, 1835. Now, look at it. Okay? That's our acts. You can't stop us from using it because we still have the use of these acts in 1834 to 1837. Seven years on 1984 pages. That's all we need to kill you all off this land and all your fraud, willings and dealings. <coughs> Okay, that's, that's one for you. <coughs> I remember that, it's on the second page. Oh, the video still got good. Um, Twenty seven an act for better administration of justice in certain boroughs and franchises. That's what it needs. The administration of justice in this country, there ain't no justice. Execution, execution of Judgments Act, 1831, C7. <coughs> And judgment against you people. Got it all here, man. It's got it all here. It's got it all here. It's easy. It's easy. Admiralty Act 1832, C40. Yeah? Court Martial Law. Straight on you. What the hell are you going to do about it? Go and run and hide like John Key in well, Australia. You won't get far with here. Because this allows us to go anywhere in the world. <coughs> Assignment, etc. of leases. Ireland Act, 1832, C-17. Court of Session Act, 1832, C-5. I'm just saying the Act that applies to you crooked, crooked bastards. Customs Act 1832, C84. Customs and Excise Revenues, Audit Scotland Act 1832, C103. Embezzlement Act 1832, C4. Exchequer Court, Scotland Act 1832, C54. There, these are all the acts I'm sticking on your heads. Forgery, Abolition of Parliament of Death <coughs> Act. 1832 C123. That forgery is is that a, a, abolishment of punishment of death. You'll get away with forgery. That's just forgery. What about the rest? You'll soon hang you with something. The execution act there. Okay. You get you get in the gift of it. You get in the gift of it. Payment of Creditors, Scotland Act, 1832, C34. <coughs> With my crown the creditor. <coughs> my crown, King William IV Trust, is the creditor. My powerhouse group, Limited, Limited, registered company in England, is the creditor. Now, to Altair Limited, New Zealand registered company, is the creditor. With one off a trillion shares parent company. <coughs> Every other country, 250 countries, have a billion shares 
under the same book here. Okay, you got that? Tyth Act, 18th century C100. That's what Willie Pater was saying. Put the Tyth Act on. Well, Willie, that's one for you. That's in this Paramount Court. The Magistrate Court. Not in any other court. Recovery of Tyth Island, Act, 1832, C41. <coughs> Keys, etc., between Tower and London Bridge, Act, 1832, C65, applies to all reports here. <coughs> we can go there and pull all the books out and check them. Okay? Not going to get away with anything, not with me. Bank Notes Act, 1833, C83. <coughs> it's Administration of Estates Act, 1833, C104. You see, before 1834, all these acts, man. Customs Act, etc. 1833, C54, 55, 60, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Crown Lands Act, 1833, C86. See, 1833. We've got enough things in here to hang you. Fines Act 1833, C99. You're fined one trillion pounds. Exchequer Bills Act 1833, C25. Okay, you're getting it. You're getting it. You're getting it. Now, that's enough. You can go on to 1834, 1835, 1836, 1837. All the way through before 1838 when all the bullshit starts on this side, Georgie. You got a job with. All that to undo. Good luck to you. So, once more, I ran money here. I'll try them again. Damn good news. No, you, you're not answering. That's right. <coughs> He'll call me tonight, something, maybe busy. <coughs> so I'll be going up to uh, Hokianga on the Manabas on the 24th and uh, stay with Morris. Uh, he's up past um, uh, past uh, Hokianga, Taiki or somewhere, and uh, I'll be staying with him all, all the way through and come down to the Hui on the 25th, 26th, 27th at um, the Waitaha headquarters. Danny Watson in them. Okay, so I'll have a bit to say there of these framing laws bit because if there's anybody going to frame laws, it'll be in all the books I bring up. I won't bring too many, but I'll just bring up what's 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 needed. I might even get a screen projector and take my laptop and put on this map where it says 1831, 1830 to 1835, 1837, 1840, 1860, where everybody landed on the land on the East Cape. And 1831, there was nobody around, just these Moriotis and us. Okay? All the rest came later. That's when the trouble started. That's 1831. 1820 to 1831. Then, when the church started up, the first church to do native land titles as birth certificates registered on the stock market in New York with William, King William IV. He started all that racket off for the good of the common people. But then the bastards on this side got it. The Rothschilds are going to go out with this bound note. Okay? Watch what happens when you don't tell the truth. The people don't like liars. There's plenty of them around. Plenty of them around. So, uh, one more. One more time. Manahi, number one. Moriori, title. Number two, me, Moai, Tahitian, title. St. Mary's Church, St. Patrick's Church, order. Rogan, Cosgrove, coat of arms, army. And the Kauriwai, 
is the surrogate King William IV. Commission on Te Umuaka Native Magistrate Court today by the Paramount Chiefs from North, where this flag comes from, straight to Britain, through them, contract, private, and St. Patrick's Church, St. Mary's Church, a boy's star. That's me, and the Moai statue crown, that's me. All those titles inside that, that's me, number two. Number three, Bundy, and, oh, Bunny is the descendant of Te Rewaikato Wharehe Rehe Manukau, the Waikato chief. My chief, Uetaha, on Tikitiki Marae, the Rahui Marae, and the Samaritan Church and Whakawhidira Native Court, Tikitiki, Rotoria, Hiruhara. Okay, so that's that. Bundy, number three, Bundy, Cook Island, Tahitian, Honeheke, uh, Hongi, Hongi Hika, not Honeheke, Hongi Hika, Tahitian, Cook Island, is the um, land commissioner after me, as deputy, deputy land commissioner of this land. The lands belong to the Moriori, as far as the British are concerned. The Cook Island is linked to the Moriori. I'm going to have to separate them too because the Cook Island is not British. They are straight Queen Victoria, right? Queen Victoria title. Cook Island title didn't come here. Captain Cook didn't bring his title here. King William did directly. Okay. Bundy, number two. Um, and he's um, looking after the lands. Number three is. Oh, Bundy's number three. No, hang on. Bundy, Bundy's number three. Um, Money number one, me number two, Bundy number three, Hiruini Karaka number four. Forgetting about him. Hiruini Karaka, Selwyn Clark, British. Settler from Britain. The Clark name with an E on the end. He's the paramount chief with a Clark name, or in Maori terms, Hiruini Karaka. But it's, he's still a Clark on the legal documents on the British title on this side. Okay? The Cook Island doesn't come into the British title. It's number one and number four. Selwyn Clark. He is the Paramount Chief Justice of the Te Uma Waka Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court here in Auckland where the business is. Now he's placed right there in the business zone of Auckland Moriori titles, straight to Britain. The Moriori and so on goes together. Those two are the British title holders of this country. Both in this flag. Selwyn and Manahi and me <coughs> is in this flag. <coughs> Bundy, on the other hand, <coughs> is the Cook Island in between. So, in other words, they go together. That lot um, fused together, otherwise, in reality, the Freemasons are only concerned with the Moriori title, nothing else. They are only concerned, the British are only concerned with the Moriori title, not this lot, not, not anything else. Okay, I'm putting them there, I'm putting them there, because that's the only way I see it from here, from this angle. But on the Commonwealth side, I go straight out to all the other countries in the world with this flag. I'm taking this flag around the world because it's got St. Patrick's in it. That's where the money's made. From the eight point star municipalities. That's where the money's made. Through the custom nation customers and that authority that John Key's play around with. John Key, your mischief pirate. Your days are over. You're caught. You're caught. Okay, so that's number four. 
the head winner. Number five is Georgie Job. Georgie Job and, and Alfred, you sit right on the outside. You have nothing to do with this lot. You have nothing legally to do with this lot. You cannot touch this in your Maori government or anything you do in New South Wales. Do not mix this book up. I gave it to you just for reference because you're a Maori. I don't call myself a Maori. I'm calling myself Moai. Anybody can call themselves Moai in the world when they become members of this side and not this side. Uh, right out of there, Australia, right around the world. We've already got a government there. Just push on Moai, Crown, Federal State Government of the World. And you'll see script. In script, the whole government is there. The whole structure is finished for this country and the world. The world is fashioned around that because that's the latest. It's digital and we've got the tidal turbines. To back onto that and the Ford cases right through the world and the whole world title with Moai Crown. Earth God Law, L O R E, Spirit. That's it. The British Queen Victoria pinched the bloody thing for the spirit in it so she can use it because she ain't got any. The devil, Satan, borrowed it. We're going there, I'm going there to get it back. Okay, I either leave it there and stay there with it, or take him back to his town where he come from. In this case, I think I'll just leave it there and live in Westminster, and shift it to Westminster, where I'm living. I'll put him, I'll put him where, I, where I want to see him. He's there for me. He was built for me. I don't worry about anybody else. They can talk for themselves. But that Moai was built for me by my ancestors. The Wānoa. What? Beginning and end of time and space. Nor in O A. Dot all. N O R E in the center of the Marae. No. No. Bed. No. Crimes. No nothing. Peace in the middle of the Marae. You leave your things at the gate before you come on to Marae. And that's the gnaw in the middle of the marae.